launch is done and I have an now full afternoon free so the boys are packing the bikes and I'm gonna go test the new 390 here in Guatemala and just enjoy the free afternoon so let's go rock and roll I think somebody is famous here in Guatemala <laughs> Rock, what are you doing? I'm removing the rear fender because if you watch the previous vlog, how to wheelie, and I scrape the rear fender, this thing is gonna fly away like a bird when I'm doing wheelie, so I need to remove it. Ready? Let's rock and roll. Oh, we are driving to a special location. <laughs> Check this guy, we have three, three seats on the front, but we are four. Safest place in the van is on the bike. So yeah, we're gonna risk our life, but that dude is totally safe. <laughs> guys just showed me the most amazing twisty road I think I can find in Guatemala so it's a perfect location for the corner rocker the 390 Duke let's gear up and let's go full throttle ah, Dominic, before we go right wait I have something with me there is no real bike without a real rock on keychain it has a zero miles zero kilometers so it's time to make a virgin ride in rock on style Don't know if I'm talking about me or you. gloves on helmet is following then we are ready to enjoy this corner rocket here in guatemala let's go ride the corner rocket hills in Guatemala so just like Lee I'm feeling like Valentino Rossi right now here <laughs> That was amazing. Do you see this smile? I totally forget about the time. It's getting dark, a storm is coming together. So we need to finish with vlogging for today. I had so much fun with this corner rocket. There is a Disneyland in these hills for this Duke 390. A lot of twisty roads. You go really nice leaning left and right. Amazing, amazing. Just an orgasm for a bike rider. So tomorrow I'm gonna do a quick review. Difference between the 390 old version and the new version, the 390 Duke. So I'm gonna compare what's what's better on the new one and so on. So see you tomorrow. Rock and roll. Buenos dias, chicas, chicos. We are here in the beautiful Guatemala City. Sunny morning and we are getting ready for the big show in the afternoon. I'm giving you a quick review that I promised yesterday of the new 390 Duke. So I'm gonna give you a feedback what I really, really love personally on the new updates of this bike. Let's start. The first thing I see when I'm sitting on the bike is the beautiful new TFT display. Why beautiful? Because it has the multicolor screen. It has uh, lots of new 
updated information. You can even call your mom or you can even listen to the music. I prefer for sure listen to the sound of the bike. But if you are a huge fan of music, that's a cool feature to have. And it has all the needed information like temperature of the engine, how long was the trip, the revs, the speed and so on. It's really visible with lots of color on it. It's like almost playing a Nintendo or something. So really cool new update on the Duke 390. So this, not this face, is my opinion right now the most beautiful and the coolest face front light on the streets. Cool update if you compare to the old one. It's not a, just a little bit of restyling, but a totally different light with new technology. Just looks like really aggressive Super Duke style. So I'm really digging the new front light. We are now at my favorite feature on this bike. Guess what? It's the front brake. It's even bigger than the previous one on the old model. It has new center brake pads which are biting much aggressive than the organic ones. It has also an ABS system. You can even switch off the ABS. That means you can start to roll some stoppies if you can. So I'm really digging this bigger front disc because it's a totally different power right now on the front brake. Take 20 when I am explaining the front lever. So when we are already talking about the brakes, there is another cool update uh, on the front levers, uh, on the clutch and on the front brake. I'm here talking about the new design. It's much better ergonomics. It feels much better in, uh, when you're holding it with the fingers. It's even adjustable. So really a cool small update on the, on the 390 Duke. So this was my quick review of the new Corner Rocket and those were my favorite features for sure. This bike has much more to offer such as the new front suspension with open cartridges. So that means you can tune them also. Rear shock, smoother engine. Clearly the best looking design on the street. I mean, tell me a better looking bike right on your street, on, in your country. I hope you enjoyed the quick review. Now I need to put the gear on and make a practice session to get ready for the big show on the afternoon here in Guatemala City. Damn it, Mexico all over again. It's raining, but rain or no rain, we're gonna perform. A true performer doesn't care if it's raining or if it's five people or 5,000 people, I'm gonna still go full throttle with my 200 Duke and perform for my Guatemala rockers that came out in this shitty weather. Rock and roll. looks to look the bike like it's just a bicycle he handles it like it's weightless and it sounds, sounds so really really nice makes you feel like you want to give it a try i'm pretty sure that the show would have been more impressive if the asphalt was dry because it will have smoked more but it was awesome nevertheless Oh, it's so incredible! Eh, a Rock Pagoros, lo sigo en sus redes sociales, en Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. 
Eh, nunca pensé que KTM Guatemala lo fuera a traer acá. Fue increíble realmente verlo en mi smartphone o en la televisión o verlo en personas totalmente diferente, ¿verdad? Thank you. Yeah. Wow. That was hot. We started in the rain, we finished in the fire. Oh, sorry, I'm out of breath, I'm sweating. I was working really hard with the 200 Duke. I see the people enjoyed it. I love Guatemala. It was my second show after four years. We put so much effort into this vlog with Dominic, with Headlands. And I hope you're gonna share it on your Instagram or Facebook. I know you're gonna do it because I have the best fans. And yeah, see you next time in the next vlog. Until then, dream big and never give up.